My name is Joy Ward and I am an assistant professor at the University of Kansas and I am in the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. And I was recently funded with a career award that is entitled Plant Evolution at Low Carbon Dioxide and that was looking at the responses of Ice Age trees. And I would like to first take this opportunity to thank the biology directorate for their generous support of my research. The goal of my lab is to understand how plants evolve in response to, in response to changing environmental conditions that occurred during the recent geologic past and then also to address how plants may evolve in response to future global changes. It is well known that the atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration has large effects on plants such as influencing the amount that they grow and their re reproductive output and survival as well. This is because carbon dioxide in the atmosphere serves as the carbon source for photosynthesis, which generates the plant products that are used for metabolism. In the past, carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere reached minimal values during the last ice age, and that occurred about 20,000 years ago. And during that time, the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere was approximately 180 parts per million relative to the much higher values of 380 parts per million that occur today. In my past work, I have shown that when you take modern plants and grow them under simulated conditions of low carbon dioxide in growth chambers, that there are very large reductions in the growth of these plants. And these reductions range between 50 and 90 percent in C3 plants. And therefore, low carbon dioxide concentrations during the last ice age were highly stressful on plants, much like limiting water or nutrients would be on today's plants. For example, here you can see plants of the same age that are grown across a range of carbon dioxide treatments, ranging from the ice age value, where this plant's very tiny, all the way through the modern times and into the future, shown here with the largest plant. My past study strongly suggests that these low carbon dioxide concentrations that occurred during the last ice age may have greatly reduced the productivity of plants. However, studies with these modern plants do not incorporate the long-term evolutionary responses that plants may have undergone while they were adapting to these low carbon dioxide concentrations. And therefore, in my laboratory and with this career award, I will be able to study plants that actually occur during the last ice age by using specimens that originated from bogs in New Zealand, such as these cowrie wood specimens, along with juniper trees that were excavated from the La Brea tar pits in Southern California. Also, these specimens are so well preserved that we will be able to extract cellulose from this wood and then run carbon isotope ratios on these samples in order to understand the regulation of the stomatal pores on the leaf surface. These pores allow carbon dioxide to diffuse into the leaves of the plants for use in photosynthesis, while at the same time minimizing water loss to the environment. This research is strongly integrated into the teaching mission that we have here at the University of Kansas. And during this project, I would train students in scientific techniques that are used in the study of modern organismal biology. Through this research, we will gain insight into how plants successfully adapted to climate-altering events in the Earth's history. And from this, we may gain insights into how plants may evolve in response to future global changes.